loves, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a Thanksgiving Day makeup tutorial on the look that I'm wearing right now. It is a nice sparkly gold lid with a pretty pink berry lip and it's got lots of sparkle to celebrate the holiday festivities so that's always fun. But yeah, I chose to play up the eyes and then give myself a slightly festive, slightly less maintenance bolder lip because we do a lot of eating on Thanksgiving and we don't want to have to worry about our lipstick. So it is a pretty fun color but it doesn't really take much maintenance. So yeah, without any further ado, if you'd like to learn how to get this Thanksgiving makeup look, then please keep watching. Hey guys, so we're going to jump straight into the eyes. I've already primed with my Benefit Stay Don't Stray Primer. This is in the shade Light Medium, but they do have a darker shade if you are a darker skin tone. So keep that in mind. I really do like this stuff, so I definitely recommend it to you. And then we're going to jump into a palette that I haven't used in a very long time. And this is the Kat Von D Ladybird palette. It's pretty awesome. It's basically just a whole palette of really nice matte shades and I don't know, they don't really make um, palettes with only matte shades, so I really like this one, and the eyeshadows are actually awesome quality. So with an E40 brush from Sigma, I'm going to get into this color called Unrequited, and it's kind of just a transition-y medium brown color, and I'm just going to pop this in my crease as my transition color. And then on an E38 diffuse crease brush, I'm going to jump into this really pretty matte, like, burnt orange shade called Cleopatra. And we're going to add this to the crease as well to warm it up and really add some kind of fall colors to the look. And this brush is awesome for placing the color and really, like, buffing it out and diffusing it. Since it is called the Diffuse Crease Brush, I just love this brush. And now on this E39 Buff and Blend brush, I'm going to jump into this shade called Wolf, which is a really nice, like, reddish brick brown. And we're going to pop this right in the outer corner to add some depth to the look. And you can build up this brown shade as deep as you'd like it. You can also use a, use a black if you want it to be really nice and sultry. But I'm going to stick to the more neutral tones for this look because I think that's prettiest for Thanksgiving dinner. Ooh, I love it. And now since we're still in this palette, I'm going to jump into this cream shade called Vespertine. I think I'm getting these names right. I'm not even sure. But yeah, I'm just going to use this nice matte shade to highlight the brow bone. Okay, and since this is a holiday look, we obviously can't go without something sparkly. So I'm going to pull out this Stila Magnificent Metals eyeshadow in the shade Comex Gold. It's like the most beautiful, kind of rich, coppery gold, just foiled goodness. Like, this thing is just incredible. Oh, I need these Stilo things in all of the colors because I'm obsessed with them. I like to use these best with my fingers just because I feel like they're too chunky for a brush. You just get the most out of the shade when you use your finger. So I'm just going to slap my finger in there and pop it on my lid. And I like to press it on my lid. It gets like the most intensification out of it. It really packs on the glitter. And oh my god, do you see how gorgeous this thing is? Like, uh -huh. And you are going to get some fallout, but that's why we do our foundation after, so that we don't have to worry about any of that nonsense. And don't worry if it goes up into the crease, because the less pigmented it is, it is, it's kind of just like little flecks of glitter, which I love. And you can always go back with your brush and kind of blend away anything that went too far up. Oh, so beautiful. You're definitely going to need to clean off some fallout when you use this stuff because it is pretty chunky. So I'm just going to take a cotton square and some makeup remover and just clean up wherever that glitter went. And I'm going to line my lids with this Urban Decay 24-7 liquid eyeliner. Now that our liner's on, we're just going to jump straight into mascara and lashes. I'm going to coat my lashes with this Voluminous Miss Manga Mascara from L'Oreal, and then pop on these Miss Adoro Wispy Lashes, which I think... <gasps> They're one of my new favorite lashes. Have to reorder a million pairs right now. Okay, lashes are on, so we're going to move on to the face makeup. Okay, so to start off with the skin, I'm going to prime with my Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. So I just take one pump of this on my fingers, and then I just spread it all over my face. And I've been loving this stuff. 
And then for foundation, I'm going to use one I haven't used in a very long time, nor have I seen much of it on YouTube recently. Um, this is the Revlon Color Stay Whipped Foundation. I remember when I bought this, I was in love with it. But then I just stopped using it, but I still love it. So I'm going to put this on today with my Sigma F80 Flat Top Kabuki Brush. And basically, I just take it and dip it in the bottle. And it kind of... It's moussey, so it doesn't get too much product on there. But yeah, I'm just going to pop this onto the skin. It gives a really nice full coverage, and it just feels really nice on the skin. Okay, now I'm going to conceal and highlight with my NYX HD Photogenic Concealer. This is in the shade Light. Don't you love that freshly highlighted skin? <laughs> And then I'm just going to blend everything out with a damp beauty blender. Ugh. Is it just me or does the purple beauty blender smell like lavender? Ugh. I hate the smell of lavender. Okay, guys. And we're going to try something new today because lately I've been doing this thing called baking, which basically means putting a crap ton of powder over your concealer for it to set and then wiping off the extra later. So we're going to do that today. I got this tip from my friend Nelly, and this is the Palladio rice powder. It's just like basic, like powder. I don't know. It's just like one of the only loose powders I don't really care about using crap tons. And I'm going to take it on this small or this dual fiber powder blush brush. And I'm basically just going to get a whole bunch of my brush and then just pack it on wherever we put that concealer. And it looks crazy right now, but I promise this stuff really works. So you're just going to load on a whole bunch of concealer wherever you put that. I mean a whole bunch of powder wherever you put that concealer. And then we're going to let it kind of sit for a little. And then when you wipe it off, it like really just, it just does magic to your skin. So yeah, I look like a crazy cokehead right now. But later I'm going to look flawless. This powder does smell like old people though. Ugh. So while that is on, I'm going to go ahead and bronze slash contour my skin. So I'm going to take my NYX matte bronzer as usual. And this is the large duo fiber brush. And I'm going to use this to highlight or er, uh, bronze and contour. I've been liking using this brush lately for this step. And so what baking does, it like basically soaks up all of the oils of that concealer, sets everything in place, and it just looks so porcelain and flawless when you wipe it off, you'll see. But yeah, I'm just bronzing up my face with this bronzer while our powder sits. So now that I've let the powder sit for a little while, I'm going to take my small tapered highlight brush and I'm just going to wipe off all of the extra powder. And you can be really rough with this stuff because you really want to take off all that extra powder. And don't worry because this powder set all your concealer while it was sitting there. So don't worry about rubbing any of the concealer off. I'm actually going to go bronze some more now that that powder's off. Just on my cheekbones and a little around my nose. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but my skin just looks like porcelain like ugh, it's just incredible I love it so now we're gonna move on to blush since we're already down here I figure why not this is the master highlight blush from Maybelline in the shade coral haven't used this one in a while either but I love it it is like the most beautiful glowy corally blush when you put it on your cheeks so I'm gonna take that on my f40 as usual and just pop it on there And I actually feel like giving myself a little more contour. So I'm going to take my bronzer with my Real, Technique con Real Techniques contour brush and just chisel out my cheekbones a little bit more. And then to finish up our cheeks, I'm going to take my Becca Opal highlighter. Ugh, this stuff is life. And on my E55 or E50 large fluff brush, I'm just going to pop this on the top of the cheekbones, a little bit above the eyebrow down the center of the nose, cupid's bow, chin, and forehead. And that's going to give you that glow back that baking kind of took away, but it's like exactly where you want it, so it's fine. Okay, so now I'm going to zoom back in so we can finish up on the eyes. Okay, so I'm going to take the chocolatey brown color in the palette. Can't remember the name right now. We're going to take that on a flat definer brush, and we're just going to press this right into the lash line. And then on a pencil brush, I'm going to take that orangey color and mix it with a little bit of that medium brown color on a pencil brush and then buff out the chocolate brown with this combo. And then just with my finger, I'm going to take that cream shade in the palette 
and pop it on the inner corner just to give a little bit of light. And then we're gonna finish up with some mascara on the lower lashes. And you could do like a black or brown liner on the waterline to kind of deepen up the look, but I kind of like it with the bare waterline. Okay, and to finish off with our lips, I'm gonna start with this Starlux Tickled Me Pink Lip Liner. This is a really nice kind of berry pink color. And I wanted like a festive kind of berry Thanksgiving kind of lip, but we do a lot of eating on Thanksgiving, so we don't want anything that's too high maintenance. So I did the lip liner first as kind of a base for it's something to stick to. And then instead of doing a bold lipstick, I'm just going to top it off with a lip gloss. This is Raspberry Tart Butter Gloss from NYX, and it's a really beautiful berry color. So I think it's perfect for Thanksgiving. And you get this really pretty kind of berry pink lip color. So yeah guys, that's basically it for this makeup look. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give this video a thumbs up if you do. And subscribe to my channel if you're not already so that you can keep up to date with all of my new videos. And I hope you guys have a fabulous Thanksgiving. Eat all that you can because that is the day to do it. Happy Thanksgiving to everyone. I can definitely say that I'm thankful for each and every one of you. So thank you for just being there for me. I love you and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye my loves.